Tina, my love, the last four and a half years, simply put, have been the best of my life. You have been and continue to be the most loving, compassionate, beautiful, articulate, driven, adventurous, and intelligent partner, just to name a few. We have experienced so many adventures and life milestones together, from moving back to our hometowns, maneuvering through a long distance relationship, and establishing our roots in a hot old desert. <laughs> our lives together have only just begun. There are many reasons why we do ceremony, why ceremony is a universal human impulse. But in its most innate stripped down form and expression, ceremonies help us pause. They engender a sacred and reverential space in which we can get still enough and slow down enough and breathe deeply enough to adequately mark and metabolize the magnitude of the occasion. And it's actually in the pausing and in the marking that the transformation happens. Okay, so this is California, because that's where we're both from. And then here's me, because that's where we met. And then, was well, Indian tradition to like hide the groom's name somewhere, so we, so Peter's name is like right there. So Tina and Peter, even if your relationship felt permanent and established and declared before now, my hope is that this ceremony will shore it up, strengthen it, and give it new depth, and new resonance, and usher you forward into your future, feeling grounded, exalted, and powerful as a couple, and well-equipped to meet your future with grace. Today is the day we've been waiting for. Today also marks the happiest day of my life. Who would have thought that moving to Maine would bring us together? From the first day we met in grad school, to our first summer together, to long distance, to buying our first house, and to this very day I get to call you my husband. Moving across the country to Maine was something I was ready for. Our paths crossing was not. Our lives intertwining was not, but they did. Maine didn't just offer me an education, it also gave me my best friend. Take this moment before you say your vows to feel all the love that flows between you. Let this moment serve as a call to presence, a time to reflect on everything that brought you to this threshold, and a slowing down of this important passage. David White said, we have so many allies in this world, including just the color blue in the sky, or the breeze, or the ground beneath our feet. Well, the pause comes from coming out of abstraction and distraction and back into the world again, from noticing our surroundings, giving thanks for these soaring trees, reaching strongly to the sky with the earth in their roots and the heavens in their branches. And really feel free to take a look around. It will help you remember the ceremony in the future. For the verdant plant life and the fresh forest air, for this beautiful summer sun and that Big Sur River flowing in the background. You've taught me what it means to truly love unconditionally. You've always seen the best in me, and for that, I've become a better woman. And for that, I choose you. I choose you today, I choose you tomorrow, and every day afterwards. <laughs> when I look at you, I often ask myself, how did I get so lucky? You are without a doubt the love of my life, and I've cherished every moment with you. Now I can officially call you my wife. I promise to continue to make you smile. I promise to support and encourage you and all your dreams. I promise to respect. I promise to listen. I promise to love unconditionally. I promise to be by your side for eternity. From the day we met, I knew you were someone special. 
Little did I know that I'd actually be spending the rest of my life with you. I promise that wherever life leads us, I'll never leave your side. Your dreams are my dreams. Your downfalls are my downfalls. I promise to keep our lives adventurous and full of excitement. I promise to treat you with compassion because we are a team now and for always. I know we can conquer any obstacle as long as we have each other. And most of all, I strive to love you more each and every day. When you first checked me in at Finley, you had me. <laughs> when I first heard your laugh, you had me. When I first saw you smile, you had me. When you fought for love, for us, you had me. Tina, you will forever be the love of my life, forever yours. And so it is with these blessings and by the beauty and power of your vows and declarations that I joyfully recognize you as mine.